Okay, people, we are going to do some Google Earth stuff. Uh, we're going to start on a Mac, and I'm going to be flipping back and forth to PC and Mac instructions just to help you out. So let's get started here. We're going to click on the Google Earth icon, which I have put on my dock. If it's not on your dock, then you can go to Applications and look for it uh, here. All righty. Let's start that baby up. Okay. A couple of things I want you to do first. We're going to get rid of this crap at the bottom here. And the way we do that is we're going to go, well, first thing we're going to do on our Mac is we're going to click that. Let's make sure we have things clicked. Toolbar, sidebar, um, show navigation, always. Status bar, we'll keep that. Grid. Now, we're going to toggle this on and off occasionally because this shows you latitude and longitude. It's kind of nice, but then it also makes for a busy uh, thing. Overview map, yeah, yeah, leave that. Scale legend, we'll keep that. Uh, atmosphere, we'll keep that. Sun, what this does is it shows you what part of the Earth is illuminated. And it's neat, but we're going to uncheck it because we want to be able to see the whole globe, okay? If you are out in space right now, that's what would be visible. Historical imagery, leave that. Water surface, yes, and okay. preferences and we are going to go to navigation okay on the PC the menu that you want is under tools and options and then you're gonna go to the navigation tab and from this point it's the same for the Mac and the PC What I want you to do is I want you to select do not automatically tilt while zooming. It'll really torque you off all the time. Uh, I have a joystick plugged in, so if you want to do the flight simulator, go ahead and check this now, and for now just ignore it. Okay, general, what do we need? You shouldn't need to change that. You shouldn't need to change that, or that, or this. Okay, don't leave... Don't change anything except navigation. Do not automatically tilt. Now, hit OK. All right. Your sidebar is going to look different than mine because it doesn't have all the places yet. We're going to go down here. We're going to click on Layers. And we're actually going to raise this a little bit so we can see what's going on here. We want to check borders. We want to do, um, let's do international borders. Why not? In case you forget where Canada is. And we're going to do first level administrative borders and first level administrative names. All right. And we're going to hide you. We're going to leave labels blank. Photos. Um, yeah, you can keep photos. Go ahead and do that. Um, they're interesting. Roads were definitely wanting checked. 3D buildings. I want check, but let's uncheck trees, okay, because that gets in our way. Ocean, don't worry about that, gallery, more. Uh, once you become a uh, power user of this, you're going to want things like, um, you want to be able to use Google Earth. You can use Google Earth to find things like where bus stops are, where restaurants are, and uh, all kinds of goodies. All right, so let's hide you a little bit.